Hello everybody and welcome to another review. In today's video we're taking a look at this. This is the City Builder Level Up Kit. It is designed to make the Jinbao Devastator more stable and more on par scale-wise with the likes of the Toy World Take on Devastator. Now I've opted for the G2 color of this set, but if the kit is good enough, then I may well be getting a G1 coloration of the Jim Bao again, getting the green kit, and then having that as my main Debbie, and then having the Toy World one broken up as the bots, because I've seen Bobby, Bobby Skullface's display with his Constructicons, and they look really good in their bot mode. So that's the option. Now, uh, big box got your like toys logo on the bottom there as well for those that don't know this was originally a like toys upgrade kit that was being made and shipped to his customers uh, but then he struck a deal with Jim Bao and uh, they went into mass production and there we go so we the result is a really big upgrade kit which consists of a new chest plate I've stuck a uh, kind of shiny Insignia on there, uh, my G2 insignias that I wanted to put on there, very dark and very dull. So I'm gonna to speak to Show Z and see if they can produce the little stickers they give out. Wonder if they can do some G2 ones and send those with this sort of set. Now we get two of these foot plates. Now I will look at everything else here in detail up on the review station and show you exactly how things go together. But for now I just want to show you just how big everything is. We get the new torso piece, uh, which slots in. Uh, we've got uh, everything nicely made. It's not as thick a plastic as what we get with the actual figures, but it does exactly what it needs to. We get a new head. Uh, now, in the instructions, it shows there being kind of electrics. Uh, there are no electrics included in this. Uh, I will show you what they intend. Basically, they intend you to take the electrics out of the Jim Bao head, pop those in, and then I'll show you how that goes. We get the two arm plates that go on the end of the arm pieces and then attach the fists. We get two side panels. This kind of make the uh, chest kind of more flare out there around the kind of lat area. And then we get these two new shoulder panels as well. They're going to plug in either side at the top and then we're going to secure our arms into these new tabs so that's what we've got we've got the g2 version of Jimbao devastator the kits are exactly the same whether you get the green or the yellow so the installation will be the same as well so let's take a look at how we get this installed the transformers will return to these messages if you find these videos useful, why not head over to ShowZ using the link in the description below. Or you make that purchase, head up to the top of the page on the support your favorite reviewer tab and type in Ben's. That'll help support the channel and keep these reviews coming. We now return to the Transformers. Right up at the review slab, our first port of action is to break our Devastator down into his uh, kind of fundamental elements. We need to separate the torso into the two pieces, remove the arms and remove those legs. And if we start off with the head, pop the original head off, which reveals the circuitry for the front light up section. Let's pop that out, bring in the new Devi head. Excuse me, I don't have any nails. You need to get this piece. So, uh, you can take this out as well. And like this. Batteries acquired are CR1220s. Uh, unfortunately, uh, mine are dead. Uh, I haven't have any replacements for those, which is uh, kind of annoying. But uh, no, no combiner has the same batteries, which is annoying. See, you just click on there 
and that would like make those eyes light up but as you can see there other than getting this off with no nails that was actually really straightforward and that's a gorgeous head sculpt as well and as a replacement that just slits over like so taking the place of its predecessor as to does this section here we're going to remove this and come on out you come remove this and remove this so we're left with kind of a bare naked version and then we're going to slide these new pieces in this is going to come in like so and latch over the side and same with this piece that's going to come in like so and come in and latch over the side and then we can bring in that new chest that's going to fit on either side and that's going to line up push and that's going to really secure into position oh there we go that's in nicely see that's a bad sticker doesn't do what i want it to at all already but now we've got these really nice top mounted sections for the arms before we tackle the arms i think we should tackle the waist start by rotating the waist around so you've got this small crotch panel at the front and the large crotch panel which was debbie's crotch uh, why is my hand twisted i don't know we'll address that shortly uh, this needs to be folded up into that position it's simple to do literally just fold that and bring that over now you want to slide out the knee adjusters if you have the new ones installed those are the ones that came with that upgrade kit you don't need those anymore there we go we're going to remove those and we are going to move this around flip this panel out so we've got free reign of the back of these knees like so the leg panel is going to flip over and come and cover off the back of the leg this is going to rotate up and up the arms come out and this whole panel is going to slide up like so so that's going to come up out of the way for now come on looking a bit of a mess isn't it now i'm not gonna lie the instructions are incredibly vague uh, with regards to these sections i think we're meant to bring the fists down to kind of this position this comes on the outside like so it's going to come down this is going to come up to the side and you want to basically have the fist in there this is going to come all the way up like so so this needs to be able to sit square this and these drop down to the sides I'm still not convinced convinced by that at all don't really know how these hands are meant to go but this needs to be flat so these need to come up to the back so we have a kind of backpack section like so this torso panel then slides down on to here like so and if you look there are some tabs just on the underside of those arms which allow those to peg in 
to the lower side of that torso. And again, on this side, that's gonna peg in and latch into position. We then have these sections here. Uh, we can bring in this. This is gonna tab in here and here. And uh, just hooks in behind this section here. And it's gonna take a little bit of jiggery pokery, but we can get that one in like so. And then we can bring in the upper part of our torsos. And we should be left with something that looks like that. So the hands are tucked into this void. These are up. This is tabbed in exactly the same way as we did previously although the torso is now laid out somewhat differently. Right, let's tackle the feet. Bring in your foot plate. You see there's a groove here. This is gonna slide, this comes up, this slides all the way down onto this groove. Come on, over you go. That's gonna slide all the way down and then these are gonna come underneath and secure on there like so. This is gonna tie in, this is gonna come in. That and that now gives us a much more kind of stable planted base for our foot. And we'll bring in the other leg. And again, setting up these. This comes in. This comes up. This comes up. That goes down. That goes down. That's secured. That's secured. Oh, there we go. That is a much more stable base but it kind of has to be because this guy is now incredibly back heavy we slide these legs in like so and then bring them forward again on this side we're gonna slide that leg in come all the way in and then bring that Board, remove the hands, popping them off the mushroom peg there. Come on, easy said than done. The new panel pieces then come in, slide over the same mushroom peg, and then close back off once it's all lined up like so. And then we can bring in our hand and slide that back on to that mushroom peg. There we go. That holds everything into position. And then using this tab here, we can slide that in to our newly established groove for the arms. So let's slide that in and then just Move the arm up slightly, and there we go. He's pretty darn good. It's incredibly stable. As you see, I've still got his drill on his hand. That's the look I'm going for with my G2. Uh, I don't like the backpack, uh, personally. Something just off about it. It looks very kind of back heavy and unnecessary. Uh, there is a way of taking those legs off long haul kind of trims him right down, but obviously it then may, means it's not gonna be as transformable, but what a difference that makes to his proportions. He's got the kind of nice slender legs and torso, very sturdy base, and uh, wow, what a difference. It wasn't overly complex once you got everything into place, it's just the instructions are not so good regarding that torso piece. It's very kind of vague and guesswork. Uh, I actually downloaded the Like Toys instructions as well. And they, in my opinion, 
aren't much better. It's kind of a middle ground between this and the one that Jim Bao give with the packaging. But that, in essence, is a masterpiece G2 Devastator. Now for those of you that don't want this huge backpack piece, you can remove this lower torso piece with three screws. There's one here. One here. And the third and final one is here. Like so. That's going to allow this to separate, like so. And then we can bring in those pieces again, sliding that back in. I mean, this is completely optional. And I've actually seen somebody remove the arms as well. Now, again, that would really clean up the back. But I do have my concerns when removing the arms because the torso piece actually tabs into the arms. They're part and parcel. So we can actually kind of move this piece all the way up there now, like so. That kind of tidies that piece up, doesn't it? Um, and then we could have this now come over the back so that when that's attached like that, it's now kind of really cleaned up. Now, I suppose you could remove these actual hand pieces because the only piece you need is the bit that the top section latches into just underneath here. These pieces here, I don't know if you can see them, there they are, look. Those pieces there on my thumb is, they tab in and latch into the top half of the arm. So I suppose you could always get rid of those. Uh, I guess you don't even really need this uh, gray panel piece either, but uh, gives you an idea of what that looks like kind of cleaned up. Still got a little bit of rock to him, but it's a very sound piece, just a matter of angling him. I mean, you've got a lot of articulation going on there. I'm gonna take one of these drills off, just getting in my way of I'm trying to sort out the articulation. But, uh, you can really kind of, let's see if we can add some pivot on there. Okay, kind of a more dynamic. Give him kind of a more dynamic look. That's an option. Right, I uh, don't know if you can see me. Uh, here they are both together in their bot forms. Uh, the backpack is kind of unsightly. Look at how these two stand next to each other. His proportions are so much better now. Uh, he looks fabulous. I love the Toy World take on Devastator and the bot modes are so much better in my opinion. But as a beefy G2 or G1 combiner, this thing is an absolute beast, isn't he? I mean, if we stand him i mean he's actually taller than toy world devi which to me that's actually quite surprising let's bring in some other figures to show you how they all look together here he is with dx9's attila they take one a masterpiece inspired menosaur uh, as you can see, again, that's a really good height. Uh, DX9 stuff is starting to slowly trickle back out. 
the factory was bought out, DX9 no longer exists, but the company that bought them, I believe it was the Unique Toys side of the store, uh, vowed to release the remaining figures. So I really hope we get the rest of those G2 Stunticons because I really want a G2 Menosaur by DX9. Uh, the X-Transbots version is out there on the market, but squares up just a little bit too short in my opinion and this of course has those upgrade sets on it as well which allows you to mount those cars on the front of the legs and here we have them alongside some of my g2 figures i've got a few more up on the shelves there but it gives you an idea of what they're going to look like together i really would like a g2 insignia on his chest though other than those legs hanging off the back of the torso, everything holds together really nicely. The joints are all incredibly tight. Yes, the plastic used is lighter than what's used on the actual toys themselves, but it's still incredibly robust. And for the price, it's a ruddy bargain. You can't really go wrong. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed putting this set together. Apart from the kafuddle that was those torso pieces but all in all what a difference a kit can make i hope you found this video useful if you have feel free to give it a big thumbs up share and of course subscribe if you do decide to purchase this product don't forget to use the creator code bens over at show z and until next time for myself and the rest of the collectibles household thank you all so much for watching uh, goodbye